Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Mashalela. I'm teaching you computer practice info. Today uh, I'll be focusing on our lesson number 16. I'm a lecturer from CPT campus. So today we are going to be focusing on Excel spreadsheet. We're going to be inserting text into cells, match cells, and rep text. So I'm aware that some of you, you haven't done Excel at all from it, so it's going to be your first time to do it. So just open an Excel spreadsheet, a new page, without anything type on it. I'm going to take it easy because today is our first lesson. So we are going to just practice what I'll be teaching, neither than referring to any textbook or any document. So the first part we are trying to insert text into cells. A spreadsheet actually is almost equivalent to word, but the difference is that a spreadsheet has got cells. These squares, these squares that you can see here, we call them cells. As you can see where I'm putting with my cursor mouse, we've got different columns by name. First one is column A, B, C, D, and, and forward. You can go up to column Z and so on. Then we've got rows, which we can call them lines. We've got a row one or line one, row two, row three, and so on. So when you are doing a spreadsheet, normally, preferable, we must always start at the first row of the first column. In that case, we are saying column A, row number one. In this case, we call this cell A1. Then the next one, on the first line, we call it cell B1. If I put my mouse here on this cell, we call it cell C3. So how we are, we are naming the cells, normally we refer to first, at, we first refer to the column, then we refer to the row number. That's why you call them so and so. But let us type something on our first cell. If you want to type something, make sure that you your mouse is or your cursor mouse is on the cell that you want to type on i just want to type a topic that maybe you're gonna be referring to in this discussion the topic may may say machuba lockdown lessons that is our topic for today then after that, I will skip line two. Then maybe I'll concentrate on line three. Maybe on line three, I want to type a subtopic. Maybe the subtopic will say name. On the second column, which is column B, I want to type another topic. I will say maybe subject. Next column, I will type day. Next column. I'll type data usage used. Next column, I'll type amount. Those are my five main topics. As you can see, each topic I type per cell. I started on cell A3, cell B3, C, D3, and so on and so on. So now, Let's say, for instance, our name will be, the first one will be Mzwa, second one will be Nozi, third one will be Foots. Coming to the subject, let's say the first subject is CP and 4. Next one is Home. Next one is Accounting. Coming to the days, the first day, maybe it is day one, second one, day two, third one is day three. Let me stop there. For That is how you capture information into a spreadsheet or a capturing text. But now I just want to focus on the, our second, on our second item, on our discussions. The second one is matching cells. Let's go back to our document. 
or our express sheet by matching cells it means that if a text for instance our main topic does not fit in the first column but it continues to the other columns we can match those cells in a way that the text will fit instead rather than overlapping to other cells or to other columns in this case normally if it is a main topic you must match a cell across the width of the spreadsheet a width is where the spreadsheet ends for instance our spreadsheet will end in column a that is our width of our spreadsheet therefore if i want to match this this topic because it, i've started typing the topic on cell a then i have to highlight from cell a i simply click on cell a and highlight towards my right until i reach a if you are using a keyboard you simply click once on that cell a then you press shift and press the arrow that is going to the right until you reach a that is the simplest on the spreadsheet after highlighting then i right click then i'll go to format cells in this box i go to the second column second topic which is alignment then i click on this box match cells i press ok then automatically if you click on a we've matched from a to a within the same line sometimes you can match cells from top to bottom meaning within the same column but different rows like let's say uh juba drop down i'm making an example here if i wanted to make to match going downwards from from row two to row three i will simply highlight from line two to line three within the same column right click go to format cells click on match then press ok then we'll talk about uh, uh, how how i can make sure that the text go down on the next topic or on, on my next item but forget about this one it was just an example to show you that you can match going down let's quickly go to the last one the last one was saying a rep text if you are talking about wrapping a text we are talking in a term whereby we don't want to match the cell for instance like these subtopics on column d we say we type the topic which was saying data used here in this formula by you can see all what we did here but because data used cannot fit on within the same within the same column we can now wrap the text in a way that data will be on top used will be underneath if you want to do that you simply right click on on that cell d3 then we go to format cells go to topic alignment instead of match cells we click on if make a tick on wrap text then we press ok this is how we are wrapping a text it means that it is still within the same row row three within the same column but now it is it the the, the, the cell has become wider going down you can do the same in this one here right click format cell wrap text okay then it will go like this so it we've come to the, to the toward the end of this uh, lesson i'm sure you enjoyed this lesson make sure that you understand so that you can move forward please do save this exercise because on the next lesson you're going to be using the same text to continue to the next lesson if you want to save again you go to file save as you go to your folder then you you, you type let's say spreadsheet one and press save so that it can be saved to be used to the next lesson enjoy the rest of your day until we meet again goodbye